Weather can impact your mood, drip, and swag. When it's dark, cold, and rainy, and it's heavy snow, you feel in a certain type of weight. Versus when it's spring and summer and the sun's out and you got on a fresh pair of J's with no shirt on. Wow! Just like your performance changes with the weather, so does the performance of your plane. And here are the two most important things that you need to know about weather as a pilot. Let go! The number one thing of the most important things that you need to know about weather as a pilot is what causes all weather. And the thing that causes all weather is the uneven heating of the Earth's surface. Nothing heats evenly and nothing heats at the same rate. When you think about this, think about your own self. Walk outside your crib right now. If you were to walk outside your crib, you may be in the front yard and you may think to yourself, okay, it's really hot right here. Then walk to the backyard, walk to the side, the left side, walk to the right side. You may feel the temperature kind of change a little bit. It may be cooler in certain areas, warmer in other areas, and that's just a little area around your crib. And I just think about this on a global scale. You're thinking about Earth right here. Nothing heats at the same level and it doesn't heat evenly. It heats all unevenly. And the reason for this is because of just the different types of land and water masses that we have on Earth. We got all types of land. We got dry desert land. Then we got urban areas. We got rural areas. All that stuff's not going to heat at the same level. Some of it is shaded. Some of it is exposed and not shaded. So it's going to heat differently. Because it heats differently, it's going to cause different changes in weather. The same goes for our bodies of water. We got all kinds of bodies of water. Warm water, ocean, lakes, ponds, they're not going to all heat up the same. So when they heat at different temperatures like that, that uneven heating of the Earth's surface is what's going to cause. Every piece of weather that you see and experience in your life is caused by the uneven heating of the Earth's surface. That is the most important thing that you need to know about weather as a pilot. Lego. Numero dos about the second most important thing that you need to know about weather as a pilot is how wind is caused. So if you know all weather is caused by the uneven heating of the Earth's surface, what causes wind? Changes and differences in pressure is what causes wind. And these two kind of go work hand in hand to understand why does the wind even blow to begin with? It's because of changes or differences in pressure. Think about it along these lines. Heat rises. For example, if you ever at the crib or you ever been in the three-story building or any kind of area, you understand the term that heat rises. You have you don't have the AC on, you don't have the heater on, and you may go up to the third story, the top level of that building. You may think to yourself, man, it's hot up here. And then you walk down to the bottom level and it's cooler. Why is that? You haven't changed anything. You haven't turned the AC on, the fan on, anything. Why is it cooler downstairs than it is upstairs? Because heat just naturally rises. Okay, and when heat rises, it creates a low pressure kind of system at the bottom of that. In the same way with cold air, when it sinks down, it creates that high pressure system. So what's happening naturally in the earth is heating unevenly, like we've already established, and it's creating these different pressure systems where you got low pressure and high pressure in different areas. And what mother nature likes to do, mother nature is very, very, very smart and very beautiful. She tries to even things out. If she realizes that there's a huge gap between the low pressure and high pressure, she's gonna try to even that thing out. And when that air moves through to try and even it out, that's what causes the wind to blow. So when you see the wind blowing like that, that's why it's doing that. The pressure system is trying to make things more even and even things out but based on where it was before, and that's what's causing that. If it's a strong wind coming through, then there must be a significant difference in gap, and that air is moving fast to try and get it back to be even again. So that's what's happening when you experience wind. And Mother Nature, she's a just a lot like you and I. And you can tell how human beings, how we're tied to the earth and how we all connected in a sense because we do the same things when you think about human behavior and the way that we move through our lives. For example, if you were to walk onto a bus and you were to see 10 people already on that bus sitting on the right-hand side, but only four people were sitting on the left-hand side. Naturally, even if you're not even thinking about it, subconsciously, you would just probably just sit on the left-hand side. Why? Because that would be your way of kind of evening things out. You would see, oh, this is kind of uneven and it's room available here. I'm going to sit here. Just naturally just make things even. That's what Mother Nature is doing when she's bringing those pressures together. Same thing, situation. Think about it, of course, when you walk inside of a, a men's bathroom, a urinal, and you got one, one person sitting at the urinal and then you got these 10 vacant urinals down the line. You're not going to go to the one right next to the person already standing there. Why? You're going to create space and quote unquote, even things out. That's exactly what Mother Nature is doing. That's how we all connected here, the humans and the earth and everything that comes together. That natural urge to bring things together is what causing those pressures to come together and causing that wind to do its thing. 
And that is the second most important thing that you need to know about weather as a pilot. What causes weather and what causes the wind is going to be two of the major things that you're going to apply to pretty much every flight plan and everything that you do as a pilot. Hey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more pilot talk about everything that you need to know for you to become a pilot. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, the link to the fly strip is in the description. Big whoa, subscribe to this channel one time.